Hi, I'm going on a weekend trip. I'm going to see my family. Um, they're about four hours away. So I am headed there now. Oh, don't look at me. <laughs> so I am on the way there. <laughs> I've been kind of procrastinating for the last 20 minutes of leaving. It's my first time uh, going on a trip after living with my boyfriend. So I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun. Uh, it's just hard to leave, and I'm also leaving my cat. Normally I bring my cat with me on these trips, but since he's gonna be home to watch the cat, I don't have to do that. So I'm just on my lonesome, going to see my family. My little brother has a, a dinner theater show that he's doing at school, so that's what I'm going for. I'm super excited. I don't know if it's like a spooky theme or not. Um, like, you know, some dinner theaters have like the like murder mystery. I don't know what it is, but he has a lead part and so I'm super excited to go see it. Normally when I'm driving home, I just kind of go really fast. I try not to drink any liquids, just go for the full four hours without stopping. But today I'm just not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna hang out. I'm not planning on stopping anywhere, but I'm gonna, you know, drink a normal amount of water. <laughs> and if I need to stop to pee, I'll stop to pee. If I just see something cool, then I'm gonna stop and look at something cool. We're just gonna make a fun trip out of it, so. I'm excited. Thank you for coming along with me.
Uh, you had two prongs on it. two prongs on the head. It was like water dog. another one. Oh no. <laughs> Did you have a knife? Did you use the butter knife? I was using it. I was using it for holding it with a fork and my piece was all around my plate on the table. I was scared to push it all out the table. <laughs> Nobody's going to eat with me. Throwing food all over the table. I didn't care which one I just wanted somebody. I would have eaten it. I didn't care about the tablecloth. I just didn't want to be in the dark. It is two days later and I'm in the exact same outfit and I'm gonna be heading back to my home. Whew. It's really pretty out here. Where my parents live, it's very nice. They're pretty. A lot of tall trees and the wind blowing through them is just really nice to sit and watch. But I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and get gas and grab some food and then I will be on the road. She gets my abs out. They sell it at a liquor store by our house. It's like forty dollars for. They don't make the ingredient that makes it like loose, you know? Wormwood, yeah, it doesn't actually. Well, from what I heard, it was never hallucinogenic. The wormwood and a lot of. Show for this guy. We are going on an adventure. Are we gonna cut that? <laughs> Fucking hate you. Boy, you can't break the cut. Wall. Cut. <laughs> Hello. So today we're gonna find a tarp Jacob left in the woods two months ago. Um, for fun. He gave me directions last night while we were both drinking, and I think I remember them. He's not, he's driving, because I didn't want to drive, but he's not going to take me to the tarp location. I'm going to have to tell him where to go based on the instructions that he gave me last night. And I think those instructions were that it's at Devil's Den, and there's a sign, and next to the sign there's a parking lot that's shaped like a triangle. And there's a trail next to that parking lot to the right. And you take that trail until you get to a log in the trail and you stand on the log and if forward is 12 o'clock, then you look, <laughs> am I doing this right? <laughs> then you look towards one o'clock and you walk in that direction and eventually you'll hit the tarp that has been camouflaged. 
with spray paint. Maybe the spray paint's washed away. Maybe that would be helpful. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen with this fucking spray paint. Anyway, what do I win if you find it? I'll drive you home. That's your prize. A free ride home, and if you don't find it, you get to pay for the gas. Boom. Um, what about coffee? Can I win coffee? I'm confident I'm gonna find the tarp because I remember the drunk me, instructions. Then? Well, uh, nothing. That's what's in it for me. <laughs> right. I just missed the turn. I don't think so. Devil's Den is like 30 minutes out. down this fucking trail right here and see if we find a log. I bet we will. <laughs> it's in the woods after all. Yummy. Block this. Oh, I didn't. I don't know what kind of degenerates could be out here. It's true. Oh, yikes. <laughs> as dirty as their shoes are, that would be funny. We got a regular bushwhacker here. Save your life. 
Wow, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for your service. I thought you were going to wipe the sweat off and use that to determine which way to go. <laughs> no. That would have been funny though. Oh, I see a log. Oh. I see a log in the trail. Imagine that. A log in the woods, ladies and gents. I'm trying to fucking catch spider webs with this and I keep just getting them on my Well, head. it's because you're swiping the ground with it like you're sweeping. <laughs> there you go. You found the log. Mushrooms are that, are that? They're the humongous mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's edible. Uh, Jacob, you could fucking die. Tastes good. But you could die, you don't know what they Cook are. Cook these freakers up, they'd be delicious. Are you gonna hold on to them? What are we coming up on? We found it, everybody look. <laughs> the snail. Oh wait. Oh. You. <laughs> Holy shit. Well. I just thought it was going to be a lot harder. I still have no idea where the trail is. I got very lost. So. I guess I could help instead of just watch. on the log and you're like, okay, 12 o'clock that way, the opposite direction of the tarp. I told you to stand on the log. Look down it. Down the tree? Yeah, look down the log. Right. Now, we have to find our way back to the car. Oh yeah. What the fuck hell is that either? Great. Let's go.
kind of looks like a book. It's got like pages. Oh, are they releasing spores? Yeah, they're the puff balls. Oh, I pooped on you. Ah! Whoa. <laughs> Yellow. That's very strange. Mission accomplished. She had to take a hint, so. You no said it was a free hint. You said it was a free hint, and all he told me was, I didn't want to be too far away from the trail, and that led me nowhere because I didn't know where the trail was. And then I was looking around, and I saw the tarp from where we were when he gave me that hint. So I think I still get a coffee. Okay, so we'll get you a coffee, but you have to pay for it. I saved you, what, $25? So you could buy me a, I don't know how much coffee it is, like $5 coffee at the most. Hey, you didn't save me any money. So then tough. I would still have saved you $20. Coffee time! It's coffee time! Let's fucking go! Truth or dare? I'm gonna take the dare. I dare you to buy me a coffee. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, truth or dare? For me? Yeah. That's uh, how this truth. Game works. Truth. I'll do truth. Uh, <laughs> are you. Are you acting when you pretend in front of the camera that you didn't take the hint? And therefore, forfeit your prize. I'm not acting. You said it was a free hint. I didn't ask for it. You just gave it to me. I guess you're a liar, though. I'm not a liar. <laughs> <laughs> All of this is going in. I know it is. That's why I'm stating on the record that you took the hint. It was a you hey. gave. I didn't ask for it. You can't give me a hint and then say, "Oh, if you use this, you have." This gift that has nothing to do with finding the tarp. <laughs> You're welcome. You're the best.